Hello everyone, praise be to God and welcome back to Rocket Slime! So we rescued our sister Bo in the last episode by going to the very small backwoods. Today, we're going to the new world Call My Bluff to save our parents. So this is a giant mountain world, as you can probably expect. Also, it has the apparently the entrance to the underworld in it. And right off the bat, you'll remember these crystals from Mount Crack Troda. We can't break those. But we'll be able to soon. So we've got the local wildlife around here, like Platypunks. And we've got Oaken Clovis just lying out. That's pretty awesome. I'm only putting a Platypunk on there because it, we, we need to take a Platypunk on there just to count as 100% for this world. And Slime Knight. That's pretty cool. We got some closed-off teleporters, those will come in handy later on. We also have girders just lying out as well. Well, hot dog. I'm just gonna throw those on the cart back to Slovenia. Because again, those need those count towards 100% on this level. Later, dude! So right off the bat, we got this chest here. Let's open it up. Oh, it's Greg, the Egg Slime. Be careful, Rocket. There's something sinister around as sure as eggs is eggs. Okay. Good to know. And yeah, you'll remember these guys were in the tank of that Draki on the backwoods. These are, uh... These are walking corpses. I couldn't remember if they were walking corpses or living corpses. They're walking corpses. They are everywhere in these caverns. And it's Sir Sudsy, the giant bubble slime. Tried carrying a slime knight, have you? I'd bob to take a sword to the plob myself. Well, ain't that nice. There's another oaken club there. So the gimmick of this course is basically a giant mountain that goes upwards. And you can keep going outside to these different levels where there are the uh, rail carts that can take you back. I don't get the moles here. Oh, also, I didn't read Bo's letter last episode. Whoops, that's my bad. Thanks for rescuing me, bruv! I didn't eat a fiend the whole time I was cooped up in that box. But now I'm back home, I can eat as much as I like! And she gives us a recipe for goddess statues. Those are another piece of ammo. They are not very good. We'll find those on this level, though. Hi, Rocket. You're such a good egg. Have you seen those crystal walls? I bet even an Elastoblast won't break them. I think I saw some at Mount Krakatroda. And he gives us an iron arrow. The faster, harder way to sow disaster. Thank you for saving me. You could have something for my collection as a reward. Oh, a recipe for a BS2 blue streak. That's a pretty good piece of ammo. We're probably not going to use that recipe because there's an easier way to get those later on in the game. Throwing those on there. And we've got more uh, walking corpses that we need. This is the only spot in the entire game where you can find these walking corpses, but they're literally everywhere. Everywhere in this mountain, so no shortage on them, to be sure. They're, yeah, like, they just pop up all over the place. Alright. Oh, we got a waterfall in the middle of the cavern. That's interesting. Hey, Mimic. You guys are not even that big of a threat. More crystals that we can't do anything about. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Alright, we don't need the mischievous mole. We do need Duke Swellington, though, the keen slime. I'm so relieved to be rescued! Those walking corpses are fearsome beasts. No matter how many times you knock them down, they just keep coming back for more. Good to know. There's money in that chest. Hooray! As much as I would love to take you, I'm afraid I can't. Then if we go down here... Crystals everywhere! 
Son, is that you, son? Gah, I've had enough of this box. I'm breaking out. Big Daddy breaks out himself. Big Daddy, get me out of this box. Mamma Mia, is that you, Mamma Mia? Hold on, I'll soon have you out of there. I can't remember if this is the voice I gave him at the beginning of the game. I re recorded the first episode so long ago. Right, stand back, son. Special measures are needed here. Time to use a Master Blast. Oh, Big Daddy, still my courageous hero. I'd blush if I wasn't already so pink. Oh dear, are you alright? You've turned even bluer than normal. I'm fine. Just put my back out a bit. Nothing too serious. I suppose I must be getting on a bit. What a blasted nuisance. Sorry, son, but it looks like you'll have to help me get back to town. You help your injured father back to town. And we save five slimes. So now this forces us to go back to town. That's alright. Well, I didn't take them all at all. I was wondering if that would be a whole episode in of itself. Not even a chance. Ah, how pathetic putting my back out like that. I can't believe it. It's your own fault. You shouldn't have been showing off in front of Rocket. I'm out of action for now, son. I'll be some... It'll be some time before I'm better. I want you to take the Goonin Trials in the meantime to keep you out of trouble. What are the Goonin Trials, Dad? You know the Goonins, don't you, Bo? Their base is in the Palace Gardens. They spend their time in training, pushing the limits of what's slim sliminly possible. Any slime who wants to master their skills must undergo the Goonin Trials. Big Daddy took the trials too, you know. That's when he became a real man. Once I'd completed the Goonin Trials, I'd discovered new strengths within myself. I was initiated into the secrets of the powerful Master Blast technique. The Goonins will help you, son. Because the country needs you. Slamenia needs you. Good to know. I wonder what kind of trials they are. Perhaps I should do them too. Good luck with the Goonin trials. If anyone can do them, my brother can. I want you to go through all of the Goonin tr training, son. So yeah, remember those weird Teenage Mutant Ninja Slimes we rescued in the backwoods? Yeah, we actually have to go to their house now and take on their trials. Ba bam We moved the 60 slime to an iron ball. Now you can get into the big house in front of us. There's a shop in there, apparently, but don't let them give you the hard sh sell squishy. So yeah, now we can go in this building. And this is the living statue we brought back from uh, Mount Krakatoa. I don't use you. We need to walk much. Okay. Yep, no one in here yet. More slimes will fit in as we rescue them from the later worlds. We only have 39 slimes left to save in the game. That's pretty cool. Anyhow. So yeah, we gotta jump down this hole right here. And it's the Goonin's house. Welcome to the Goonin Spy Hole. I sense you are here for the Goonin Trials. We will teach you to focus your body and spirit as only an elite warrior slime can. I will be waiting behind the green screen in the Dojo of the Mind. So we got three different trials here. The Mind, the Skill, and the Body. We're gonna start with the Body. We got a little last of blast into it. Rocket! Awesome! This is my Pumptastic Fitness Dojo! And this is my totally goomongous trial! You gotta be tough for this one! I'm hiding somewhere in the dojo. All you gotta do is find me and Elasta Blast me. <laughs> he has an American flag! That's amazing! Ha ha ha! You'll never find me, little blue dude! The Goonin trial of the body is go! Well, I mean, if he's American, that makes sense why he has an American flag. <laughs> nice idea, but I'm not... Whoa! Bogus balance situation! I'm losing it! Wipe out! 
Ahem, <clears throat> awesome bra! You totally aced my trial rocket! The trial of the body is out of here! Well, that was easy! Next, we're gonna do skill. Boss Rocket, in this dojo I am your sensei. The trial is simple. I will run around the dojo and you must catch me. If you succeed, you pass the trial. My doppelgangers will disappear as soon as you strike them with an elastoblast. We will see if your abilities can expose me. Let the Gunin trial of skill begin. Hiya! So yeah, we, one of these guys is the real one. And you just have to elastoblast a bunch of them. Apparently a lot of these are really just logs. And unless I'm mistaken, I believe the real him is always the last one you defeat. This is harder to do when you're not using the actual DS's gamepad. Excellent! You are ready now. I have nothing more to teach you. I wasn't really teaching, that was just a weird test. You have proved that your abilities are truly admirable, Rocket. The trial of skill is now over. Yay! And now for by far the best one, the one of the mind. Welcome to the trial of the mind. This trial will be a battle of the spirit against me. So let us begin. The fire supplies the tub with heat, in turn the wood supplies the fire with fuel. And in turn you must supply the wood, but you will have to find it yourself. The many objects in this dojo will show you the true path. And we have a guest who has offered to help with the trial. I must warn you, Rocket, I'm very particular about my bath water. This trial will be over only when I am happy with the, with the temperature and I get out. The firewood is in your mind, Rocket. First you must learn to see it there. So, let the Gunin trial of the mind begin. So we basically have to destroy all the wood and stuff in the room, get the wood, and throw it on the fire to increase the temperature, so Dr. Sid is happy. It's not warm enough yet! More firewood, Rocket! Alright, uh... Keep your shirts on, boys. So much good stuff. Good, good, I'm starting to feel toasty now, but I still want more Firewood Rocket. Alright. He's one of those... <laughs> He's one of those masochists who, like, sets the, temp the shower temperature to, like, Hades Inferno. Like, I like my water hot, but not burn your skin hot. And believe me, there are people out there who like it burn your skin hot. I might live with some of them. Okay, the rock is not made of wood. Alright, these should be the last two then. Whew, it's really cooking in here now, but I won't give up. I can take it. Ow, 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 you vid, you vid, my goose is cooked! You may have gone a little too far, nevertheless you passed the trial of the mind. Well done, son! That was a great performance! Those trials sucked, I'm sorry. <laughs> now you'll be able to blast through the crystal walls at Call My Bluff. I need you to go back there, back to Call My Bluff. You're a chip off the old blob, son. I know you'll be fine. Your Elasto Blast becomes more powerful. You learn the Master Blast. It doesn't deal more damage to enemies, it just lets us break the crystals. That's literally it. That's not the last trial I went to. Whatevs. So, I mean. I'm not going to end the episode there, that would be boring. I have exciting news! Bo is going to fight with you in the tank! Gusashi is going to fight with you in the tank! Gushido is going to fight with you in the tank! And Tokyo Tom is going to fight with you in the tank! Cool! Now I can swap out some of these bad partners. Alright, Swatsy, I'm swapping you out for... Alright. 
So Bo can bring you ammo, and she can follow the leader. Bo is super fast, which can actually be nice if she throw, because she'll basically throw ammo into your hands. The problem is, she will do that even if your hands are full. So that's not very good. And follow the leader basically means she'll do whatever you do. Mainly, if you infiltrate and sabotage the enemy's tank, she'll do it with you. I don't think she'll actually take ammo, though. She's alright. I'm gonna try her off. Yeah, I might as well show her off. And then... Gusashi! Gunan Ammo Strike or Gunan Bodyguard. He can either basically be your bodyguard and attack enemies that get too close. You can also throw him into the cannon, and he will catch enemy ammo and then throw it into the cannon himself. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good ability. We also have Gushido who can steal the enemy's ammo by sneaking into their tank. Then Tokyo Tom sucks. Basically, his ability is he can turn into ammo, and he can either use that to fire himself out of the cannon, to, or he can enter the enemy's tank and distract them. The problem is, everything he turns into really sucks. It's like things like pom-poms or treasure chests. So that's not very good. So I'm going with these three. And I know I have some ammo I could put in, but honestly, it's not going to make a big difference. Alright, I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to Mount Crack, or call my bluff, but I am going back to Mount Crack Troda, because we still have two slimes on there, and now that we have the Master Blast, we can get both of them. Alright, so you'll remember there were the crystals right near the start of the level, actually. And then I can also take this opportunity to farm for some of the enemies, as well as found some weights. I will do that after I save all of the slimes, though. So here are the crystals. Now if we last a blast into them, they get destroyed. Yee. So we got a big room here, and we're going to do a roller dash now. We fall down this slope, and we get turned into basically a slime wheel. We can control ourselves by moving around. Only by doing that are we allowed to move up slopes. So we couldn't get up the slope if we weren't already in the middle of a roller dash. There's also a piggy bank here, as well as a chest. We can roll into the piggy bank, and there's a really good prize in that question mark bag. That question mark bag will always contain the same item, and it's a really good item. It's Gubriel the Angel. I must thank you for saving me, Rocket. May I pass on a little advice? The piggy banks on Mount Krakatoda are gifts from the goddess. So you must feel free to help yourself to the contents. Sorry, how do you break them open? A roller dash should do it. Well, thank you, Gubriel. Alright, Gubriel, you will go back to town now. Alright, oh wow, we got four slimes. Swellington first. You're like the Yokuza of Slimenia, that's the highest rank in sumo, you know. Which reminds me, I must get back to my training. Send this one sailing on over, you behold a BS-1 cruise missile. Big Daddy, I can't tell you how proud of you I am, son. You're on your way to becoming a true hero, worthy of the Schliemann tank. Ooh, and we get a recipe for edged boomerangs. Those are better versions of boomerangs, because they can take out up to three pieces of ammo. They're actually very nice. Big Daddy and I went off on a big adventure together a long time ago. It was great fun. I hope you end up with lots of nice memories from your adventure too, Rocket. You've got that healing feeling. You make off with a medicinal herb. Uh, thanks, Mamma Mia, that's not very great. The goddess sent you to rescue me. We must offer up our thanks to her. And we get a lot of cl claptrap. A recipe for claptraps, that is. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to roller dash back on through this way. Going to go up here, and if we hold B, we'll stop the roller dash. So now I can do that, and I can lower this rope. I still love that sound effect. It's a seed of life! And our life increases by one! A girder, eh? Alright. Might as well pick up a free Chimeroine as well, because the last tank battle's over here. It's Tony Two Tails! Huh, I'm surprised you managed to find this place, kiddo! Guess I'd better make the trip worth your while, huh?
Sure about this, kid? I ain't gonna dry your tears when I see how tough when you see how tough my tank is. He has free cacti balls and he's doing the T-Rex. Hacks are us. This is actually a tough tank. The T-Rex is a very special tank. You see its axe, it's gonna wind upwards, and when it's at the top of the screen, it'll move downwards and knock your ammo out of the air. Alright, so Baron Bob is gonna use an upper cannon, Bo's gonna bring me ammo, and Kusashi's gonna do a dead ammo strike. So yeah, thankfully Bo is gonna be really fast. Is he gonna throw himself out of the cannon, or do I have to do it for him? Oh, and Bo falls asleep kind of a lot. Wait, is Gusashi just loading the cannon? That's interesting. Yeah, his axe is almost is almost up to the top of the screen, and when it goes up to the top, oh yeah, he actually is throwing ammo in the tank. That's actually really nice. Never knew that. As long as I keep swinging my chopper, I'm invincible. I wish I would just hurry up already. Thankfully, the axe does take a while to charge. Thank you, Bo. Man, I've got good ammo in my tank. I forgot about that. I do appreciate how fast Bo is, though. I wish you wouldn't fall asleep all the time, though. Wow. Oh yeah, Spooklier Bomb. They look weird. <laughs> I do love the sound the T-Rex makes, though, when it launches its axe. Baron Bubba! Why would you walk right next to me while I'm throwing stuff in the cannon? No, I didn't- I didn't want to throw Baron Blub out of the tank cannon. Whoops. Well, now Baron Blub is gonna go in the enemy tank and be like, Oh, I'm gonna blub you all! And, like, beat them up. It's funny. I still fail to see how Holy Water would deal more damage to a tank than a freaking Oaken Club. Seriously, Bo? You're just gonna sleep. And do nothing. Alright, Bo's coming out of the tank when I get back to town. I can tell you that much. Well, this is an easy tank battle, because my ammo is way better than theirs is at this point. Even if they are in a superior tank. One thing about the axe, though, it, 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 it's triggered to fall downwards when a piece of your ammo gets close. But if, if the enemy ammo is the, next to it, then it will also take out those as well. Thank you, Bo. Where's all the ammo? It's gotta all be down here now. Only two pieces, though. Where's all the ammo? Thank you, Bo. Oh. Baron Bulba, no! Bo, you're gonna follow me. And we're gonna kick some butt. Bo, you're gonna follow me. Alright, Slime Knight, do your stuff.
That's an amazing attack bow. Also, my slime knight fell asleep because I used it too much. Also, if you use your slime knight too much, it will be destroyed. So if I were to throw it now, I believe it would get destroyed, so I'm just going to wait for it to wake up. Hey, Cacti Balls! Are you beating up my little sister? Yeah, my Slime Knight just blew up. Bo, come over here. No! Bo, over here! Alright, well, Bo seems to be holding her own just fine. Man, I leave the tank for, like, what, 60 seconds and then it's, it's going to heck in a handbag. Alright, it's the lower way. Yeah, help me out, Bo. Don't destroy the light bulbs, Bo! Those don't matter. We did it! Ooh, and we get a chili pepper. That's a very interesting piece of ammo. And we rescue pebbles. Oh my, be careful, Rocket. The plob can't be far away. Come out wherever you are. What? You beat them to save me? Well, what a strapping young lad you are. Look what you did to my T-Rex! I'll get you back for this, cooch! To the lovely... I can't... I don't even remember what voice... I voiced it five seconds ago! To the lovely rocket, thanks for say, rescuing me. Being in that box was a nightmare. It did my skin no good whatsoever. Curse the plop. They won't get away with this. Ooh, listen to me being all macho. I'm not really a boy, you know. <laughs> I'm a girl through and through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's chili. That's a, rescue, a recipe for chili peppers. We are not going to need that recipe because there's an easy way to get chili peppers. All right. Hey, Wordle. I need more Wordles in my town, because they make very good members of the tank crew. Alright, so we gotta do a few more roller dashes before we leave. So we're gonna bounce off that wall, get back over this way, and now we're gonna go up this ramp over here, which I was going to do earlier. And it's not actually gonna take us to a new slime, we've already rescued all the slimes. Forever, this takes us back here. And you may remember those crystals over here. It's just kind of making a loop. One of these might have a seed of life. Or, at the very least, they're going to have money, so it's worth looking in them. Because I'm actually a little short on money. It's a boomerang! That will do nothing! I have no use for that. Ammo! Alright. Now, if you'll remember, way far to the east side of the map... There happens to be another piggy bank that has another really good prize inside. So we gotta take this roller dash all the way over there. Because that is literally the only place on the map where we can roller dash. So we literally have to go all the way back there. Now the one thing you want to watch out for, you can't hit any thousand weights on the way. Because if they hit the ground, it's going to cause an earthquake and it, you will for be forced out of your roller dash. You don't want that. So that's the one that you're probably going to hit the most often. Along with that one. It's easy to turn 90 degrees, but it's hard to turn 180 degrees when you're roller dashing. Alright, it's this way. It's up here. So you have to take a roller dash a ridiculously long way to get here. But it is worth the trip. Also, those piggy banks have a ton of cash in them. 
That Wordle looks like he's in serious pain. That's what happens if you actually manage to Elasto Blast them. Alright, we're throwing these on the rail cart over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go farming for monsters, specifically Wordles, Imps, and uh, Living Statues. It's a ghost! Ghosts can spawn on this level as well. So it would behoove me to not take him back to town, right? This is the place to collect Living Statues, is here at the end, because you got three of them and three Chimera Wings. So you can make an occasional trip here while you're collecting imps and wordles. Because remember, it takes a bit of time before for them to respawn. Thankfully, there's a teleporter literally right here. Alright, that's enough monster farming for me. So we get the last two slimes on Mount Crocturta, and we get a cloaking device. A very weird piece of ammo that really is not going to help you in single player, but if you do the multi-card multiplayer... It can be a pretty sweet item. It basically makes you invisible, except for your shadow. And yeah, wait till you see these stats. Look at all those Chimera Wings. So I got 20 Wordles, 27 Living Statues, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then these are the two bags. So this first bag is the first piggy bank I got that was next to the Roller Dash ramps. It's a Bustard Sword, also known as a Buster Sword. That's a very powerful sword. It deals 60 damage. Really powerful. And then we also get a Mirror Shield, and this was in the Piggy Bank that was much farther away that we had to navigate to. Now, the Mirror Shield is interesting. It, it's super slow like the Iron Shield, only deals 1 damage, and it breaks instantly after something hits it, but it will essentially reflect ammo back at the enemy's tank. Pretty nice. We also are now swimming in Chimera Wings, which is pretty sweet as well. But more importantly, we now can get the Imp, the Living Statue, and the Wordle to run our tanks. Well, the Imp sucks. Possibly the worst tank member, but... I mean, you, you gotta have him just for the collection, you know? Do you get what art's about? It completely eggscapes me. Alright, any more? Nope. So that's our first room. We got the bronze statues. Anything up here? Here we go, here's the wordle. This statue's almost perfect, Rocket. Just missing the world, that's all. Now it's time to spin things around and let me do something for you. The wordle has offered to be on one of your crew members in the Schleeman tank. My attack will send him reeling. I'm ready to any time, just say when. Wordle is a pretty darn good tank member. Then we got the living statue and the amp. They are in this room. This statue is so cool, just like me! You can come to my support rocket. Imp is offered to be one of your crew members. He sucks. You can rely on me. I'll throw you a bit of kaboom what they can do. What a great... Eight statue... Uh, the stat... Jew, we should join for says living statues have to be a crew. I'm ready to fight whenever you need me, Rocket. All right, so they are very interesting tank members. So, oh hey, dude, this museum is paradise to a collector like me. Okay, thanks, dude. To tone it down a bit. Oh, um, hi, Gutrude. Ah, oh, Rocket or Gubriel, you have such a delightful artistic streak. Thank you. You saved my life, Rocket. Ooh, I can hug you. <laughs> I can't tell which slimes are female. Oh, well. Yeah, so as I was saying, the imp is terrible because he can't go two steps without tripping himself. And if he activates his kaboom ability, then he still trips and then he blows stuff up. So that's cool. So first things first, I'm going to get mysterious HP up, serious HP up, can't get lucky, could get smart, ooh, a thousand slime tone, okay, well first we'll do the mysterious HP up, 200 coins, some thousand weights, and a slime knight. And our HP goes up by 40. Alright, 
So this one we need two shurikens and a sword. I think I have that. Miracle sword, we'll have to work on that. Four iron balls, holy cow, and then three Faust and weights and 60G. I can do that. And we get 60 HP for that. Very nice. Alright. Duck door Sid? I'm gonna need to make some ammo adjustments. First off, removing everything. Oh, I have free iron balls. Sweet! I just need one more. Alright. So first things first. Free oracle comes. So the chili pepper doesn't deal damage. What it does is if you throw it into your tank's cannon, the Schleeman tanks will literally start shooting fire up and down, and it'll, ba it'll basically just knock every piece of ammo out of the air for several seconds. Like, for several seconds, this fire will last, and it'll knock everything out of the air. Uh, we have strong medicine, that's good. Mirror shield, want that. Iron shield, sure. The buster sword, heck yeah. We need four of all those swords. We're gonna need to make another shuriken, but that'll be no problem. Uh, we'll put a slime knight in. Three BS1 cruises. Four holy waters. I felt like we get more holy water than that, but maybe not. Two iron arrows, seven oaken clubs. Our spooklier bomb. And what else? Um... Eh, let's throw in a thousand weight. Thousand weights would make great uh, alchemy materials. Oh wait, hang on, I'm not done yet. The crew. All right, Bo, you sucked. All right, so Imp, he can fire like crazy or bring you ammo, but again, he trips every two seconds, so that's not worth it. Living Statue is pretty much exactly like Baron Boy, it just uses the lower cannon. But I don't think he can pick up free fans. Then the Wordle can use the upper cannon and fire himself at the enemy. He's way better than Huey at firing, firing himself because he deals 30 damage as opposed to 15. And he can take out up to free enemies. So that's pretty cool. And then I'll use the Living Statue. And this sets me up perfectly to be able to just run into the enemy's tank and beat him up. But first, let's synthesize. So I want a shuriken. Shurikens are easy to make because they require chests and chimera wings, which are the most common items you can find in the levels. A perfectly formed shuriken. All right. Um, they don't need the iron shield. They do need the iron ball. Oh, I need an oaken club for that. No. Dog on it. I'm gonna have to remove that from. I need four swords to make that miracle sword. That's a shame. I really need that miracle sword, and I really need that iron ball. Alright, I can remove an oaken club. I don't want to remove all three of my swords, though. I'll remove an Oaken Club and replace it with a Thousand Weight. Maybe I'll remove my swords as well, but I really don't want to remove my swords. I don't think the HP upgrade will be worth it to me for that. Yeah, my swords are staying in. Those are some of my favorite pieces of ammo. And there will come a time at the end of the game where it'll be really easy for us to get those swords. One iron ball, please. I prefer Oaken Club's iron balls, personally. Bar Crockpot. Alright, Slime Mechanic, I can do two more of these HPs. Serious HP up. I don't know what you're planning on doing with these, though. 40 more HP, yeah! Alright, 
I suppose what I could do... I could just keep going back to Mount Crackchota, destroying that first piggy bank over and over again. You can do it really quickly and you get a Buster Sword every single time. And it increases by 50. So I have 520 HP, that's pretty awesome. Alright. So that's going to do it for this episode of Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will be going back to Call My Bluff, destroying those crystals. And now we'll actually be able to explore the rest of the level, which is quite a substantial amount of it. And I think I'm also going to next time go back to the Tomb of Tutenschleimen and grind up some monsters there to get even more people in my tank. So look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless you, my slime.